All right, you know what? Story was written. We are going to talk about some serious stuff, but you know what? No, we're not. No, I don't. Speaking of Mars and aliens and whatever other nonsense we've been talking about, check Mm -hmm. the story out from the Daily Mail. Former director of the CIA James Woolsey says he was skeptical about aliens until a friend's aircraft was paused at forty thousand feet, and he hopes we can be friendly to the other creatures if they exist. Let me say that again: until a friend's aircraft was paused four thousand feet. What is that like? Tractor beam. Like oh, who's it? What friend is he talking about? Oh, let's read. A friend's aircraft. A friend's aircraft. I thought that he said he saw it. He saw a friend's aircraft get paused. Yeah. Whoa. He saw it? Yeah. Huh. Or I, look. I mean, he could have had a stroke. Yeah. yeah. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just watching Star Trek earlier, and it was the episode where time keeps freezing. Have mm-hmm. you guys seen that one? Mm-hmm. I've seen them all. They're in the they're in the the the, the runabout, the shuttle, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, Deanna Troy is sitting there, and everyone just freezes, like stops in time. And it's because there's fragments of space-time continuum moving, like shattering all around them. Sounds and they're like a mushroom trip. Oh, Whoa. my God. So anyway, to then hear this story, I'm like, That's Whoa, what happened. That's brilliant. That's crazy. Check it out. He's, uh, Wolsey said that stories always seemed pretty far out to me. But there was one case in which a friend of mine was able to have his aircraft stop at 40,000 feet or so and not continue operating as a normal aircraft. What was going on? I don't know. Does anybody know? Wolsey said the source was someone I respect. John Greenwald Jr., the host, pointed out that the other former CIA directors have said they are open to the possibility of alien life. In December, John Brennan told a podcast he felt it was arrogant to believe that we were alone in the universe. Life is defined in many ways, Brennan said during the, during the December 16th episode. Now, hold on. This story comes out, right? Another story came out. Another story comes out around the same time. What's up with this? NBC News. Drones that swarmed U.S. warships are still unidentified, Navy chief says. The military is expected to deliver a report later this year to Congress on the unidentified aerial phenomena. This is from April 5th, 1124 p.m. Just last night, they published this story. A bunch of naval destroyers have tic-tac-shaped objects hovering for 90 minutes at high speed, just sitting there beyond commercial drone technology. And they don't know what it is. So Marco Rubio talked about it. And he was like, whatever is going on with these things flying over our military installations, it's like a national security breach. Like our security has been breached and we don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's a major threat to this country. Then we get this story coming out where this dude's like, oh yeah, my friend's aircraft was frozen at 40,000 feet. What is that? All right. So I think that there's... Aliens. (laughs) (laughs) So I I, I think this could be be three different things. And I'm going to probably forget them as I list them. But (laughs) um, one, I mean, there could be some technology that... China made that got in because they're targeting the military bases. Right. They're not. The, no normal people are seeing this. People in the government are seeing this. People in the military are seeing this. I'm not seeing it. You're not seeing it. You know. What about okay, alien so recon? It, it could be aliens that are like, all right, we've targeted <laughs> the uranium. I have no idea. So it could be aliens. All right. Okay. I'll put it out there. Could be aliens. We could have aliens. All right. Um, it could be that they do know what it is, but aliens are more interesting. Yes. Um, and so it's going to distract us from whatever it is that is trying to kill us. Or it could be that they just put stories like this out. Well, they're passing draconian legislation, so we're distracted. I don't know. I got to look and see yeah. what's going on in the legislature That's right true. now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It could be that Earth is a zoo. You know, the great zoo hypothesis. Uh-huh. Oh, do you guys, yeah. Do you guys know about uh, Fermi's Paradox? Uh, lightly yeah. the general idea is like if the universe is so vast and massive and life does exist then shouldn't we have found some evidence of intelligent life somewhere else at some point point? and so then there's a bunch of answers people propose like there's the um the great i think it was it called the great barrier or something i don't know the the great filter sorry that all life at a certain point wipes itself out Mm -hmm. for some reason. One of them is the zoo hypothesis that Earth is effectively a zoo Mm -hmm. and that we're in a big cage where the aliens come to watch us and (laughs) giggle at the stupid things that humans do. Hmm. I think South Park called it reality TV, Mm -hmm. that Earth was just a reality TV show for the aliens and they all watched and laughed at us Mm -hmm. and then they canceled us and they're going to blow the Earth up and they got (laughs) them to I remember that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's another really creepy, really creepy um, idea of what, what could what it could be why we haven't seen anybody because the more intelligent beings out there know that there is something that there is something bigger and worse than anything in the universe they know what it is and they don't want it to find us but we're stupid so darkness yeah there's there's something out there they know about they don't want it to find them but earth's like hey let's look for 
Yep. Yeah, let's look. Oh, and we're sitting there. We're it. sitting there going like, "Hello!" Like mm-hmm. you. It's like you, yep. it's like the friend who walks like the like the friend walks into the old cabin where the murderer is like. Looking <laughs> yes, around. exactly. Like, Janet, where are you? I'm yes. over here. And the murderer is like walking is up. Is anybody yep. here? I'm standing that's exactly. By the door. So, I don't so have so anything on me. That's and then, a theory. And then when they run. They trip. That theory also it has a name. I don't remember what the name of the theory is, but it was like kind of gave me chills the first time I read it. I'm like, "Wow, we're dumb." <laughs> <laughs> we're like yelling into the darkness. We're like yelling, "Hello!" I don't like the Fermi paradox theory that if if life is here then why haven't we found shouldn't we have found it because we just found out ice was on mars like right. six years ago and that there's likely life within the water, frozen water and on europa as well mm-hmm. one of jupiter's and, moons and we also speculate as to would intelligent life develop emf technology and broadcast right. anything it's it's really funny that like we're dolphins. like we just started using radio waves and now we assume everybody to be using them mm-hmm. I, I think it's a waste a, I, kind of a waste of money to a certain degree like we're building these giant space telescopes that I understand to look at stuff. Mm-hmm. But then we also have SETI, Search for extra- Extraterrestrial Intelligence, where we're looking for like radio waves and stuff. It's like, that's still cool. It's something we should still do. And I guess the hope that we'll find alien life is a good motivation to do it because we'll, fo- we'll probably discover other things. Mm-hmm. But this idea that in the past 100 years or 150 years, we started using radio waves and now we're assuming other intelligent life would use the same technology. Mm-hmm. They could be using like light, uh, light fidelity technology. You know, we have that now as well, where or like f- uh, fiber optics, for instance, mm-hmm. they could use a, a laser that flickers to broadcast data and we're not going to see that from far away. You know, something that I was hearing that I, I don't know too much about this, but one thing that I heard that they shoot out into the universe is like math because math is like universal. I mean, unless you live on Earth when two plus two is five. Yes. But, but they try to, they, they, they cast stuff like that out. One plus one is two. You know, like things that make sense to I everybody. Think, you know what it is? We're in a simulation. Oh. There's no other intelligent life because we're in a simulation. Mm-hmm. And what we're seeing, these Tic Tac things, they're, they're game man- mods. You know, mm-hmm. they're, they're, are they're game managers. They're, they're admins. Mm-hmm. So that it's a it's a nondescript vehicle, a tick tap that can move around seemingly outside the laws of physics because it's a it's a it's a it's a moderator. If you think about when everything really went to H E double hockey sticks was when they turned on the the Atom Smasher. The Large Hadron Collider. Yeah, that's it. Was 2012. And then we got yep. forced yep. into the Trump dimension. Yep, yep, yep. So, and at the same time, they they you know they waved, um, they repealed and replaced the Propaganda Act. At the same time, they turned on the hydrogen. Large hydrogen. What was can we make yeah. this movie? Can I? Can I? Like, is there a filmmaker out there who wants to make a, a movie about <laughs> the Large Hadron Collider fires and it causes a big like it ripple? Rips, ripple in yep. the space time continuum yes. that blankets the Earth, and then all of a sudden it's like you see you see Hillary Clinton walking up to accept the the the, the win on on election night, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden it just like flickers, flickers? and yes. then she turns into Trump, <laughs> and it's like, and they're watching in a protective sphere as reality is being changed around them. They're like. What have we done? Yeah. I think no. yes, there is. Mm-hmm. And partly because you just called for it. So I wonder if alien life is out there. And as soon as we say alien life come to us, it's like, I have, I want to go in that direction. Like mm-hmm. inspiration Magnetic strikes. Mm-hmm. And wait, wait, here, here's what I'm imagining. Like all of these world leaders are in this protective space time bubble as they're about to fire the large Hadron Collider. <laughs> and then they watch reality shift around them and like Hillary flickers and then turns into Trump and now Trump's the winner mm-hmm. and they're like what have we done <laughs> and the world leaders are like we must fix this mm-hmm. and they try to fire up the large hadron collider again but then a magnet breaks and they're like oh no the machine's broken we're trapped in this dimension and so then they have to spend four years accusing Trump of being a Russian He's spy like, and trying to build a wall 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 yep. wall and they're like what have we done it's broken <laughs> fix it wall yeah. wall wall we must build bit, bit, bit. and then and then they're like we're running out of power and then <laughs> And they're like, no. There was some kind of an animal. In the reality that, where Trump is president. There was some kind of an animal that got into the area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like squirrel. Yeah, a squirrel. Squirrel, a or, squirrel a rec- or a yes. monkey. I don't chasing know. Some nut. kind of animal that got yeah. into the Hadron Collider. I'm like, you squirrel. know what? I'm like, the, the, the squirrel. No, no, I'm like, someone someone turned themselves into this thing to stop this from happening and they're dead now. It's a squirrel yeah. and, it, and it's chasing, an, it, it finds an acorn, the acorn's bouncing down the hill and it's chasing after it and then it falls into a vent, the squirrel jumps in and the squirrel's in the Large Hadron Collider and it's <laughs> falling right when, he, right when he gets to the middle of it, the, the proton goes right through and, zoom, <laughs> and mixes with squirrel proton oh, of some sort. explains so much. <laughs> and then it causes a yes. ripple. Antimatter explosion yeah. plus squirrel. Yeah. Plus squirrel. But in all seriousness, there was an 
animal that did get into the Hadron Collider. Really? Yeah, no, well, I'm telling no, you the truth. Oh my! What there kind was- of, any <laughs> idea what kind of animal? I can't remember, but somebody can look it up. <laughs> I remember. I remember reading this story about a dude who was at, was in a uh, not the Large Hadron Collider, but he was in a Super Collider, uh-huh. and something a proton, a single proton, like went through his head. Oh my god! And it messed him up in a really weird way, but didn't kill him. It just like screwed with his brain. Because it oh like my gosh, moved what if they've done that to like particle around? If they did that to all the Dems. Yeah, everyone just got a single proton fired through their brain. So and they're now alive. they're all like, everything is woke. I heard this um, this Incan mm-hmm. scientist explaining the, the reason the pyramids are there is because protons are flying at Earth from outer space because our the Earth's magnetic core is negatively charged mm-hmm. because of the, it's just iron. And so the protons fly through the surface and of like, Earth, through our bodies, causing free radical damage. And then when they get close to the center of the Earth, the positive energy at the center forces it to repel and go flying back out and mm-hmm. back through our bodies again. So they built these pyramids to channel the, the positive energy on its way back out and focus it through a point to like gather it up from the surroundings so it didn't cause free radical damage on the humans. I got an the easier... The Egyptians I got an, were so, so I, smart. I have an easier answer to, <laughs> to why there's pyramids all over the place. What's that? Because people who didn't know that much, it was the easiest thing to build. Let me stack rocks like this. <laughs> there you go. You build the structure. You stack some rocks. Yeah, it might have been like also a tomb, also a battery. It was capped with but gold, which is a superconductor. Well, if there was, it looks like there's water channels inside of it. And if there's a charge, like if the you water was called ancient aliens, <laughs> there's this thing called the Telerik current in the Earth. That's like this low frequency magnetic current that flows, and apparently it's it's strong under where the pyramids are. Tesla was working <laughs> on it. Telerik. Telerik. Earth current. Yeah. Interesting. It's an, uh, it's an electric current that, that, that moves through, uh, moves underground or through the sea. Telurk currents result from both natural causes and human activity. And the discrete currents interact in a complex pattern. The currents are extremely low frequency and travel over large areas at or near the, the surface of the earth. Interesting. Wow. I don't know. Wikipedia says it's true, yeah. so it must mm-hmm. be true. Tesla was tapping into it and trying to send electricity through the ground, and people obviously wanted to sell their copper wires, so they mm-hmm. shut that down. But I think this technology might be have something to do with that. These drones or these things that we're seeing flying around. Uh, like might what, be, they're charged by it? Possibly. Or or it's onboard fusion, or it's like a light, or it's like a, like a light refraction that we think is a craft. I don't know. Maybe it's just like solid-state batteries I yeah, mean, that they, someone developed and we don't know they about could yet. Just be batteries. Someone could have just developed it. I mean, they're watching the military forces and they're watching, you know, North Korea and they're they're watching all the targets. But what if it's just some dude in his basement? Hmm. I, I mean, so. you know, like, like that's like Lex Luthor level stuff. <laughs> yeah, having these drones that defy modern <laughs> technology. Like Jeff Bezos, I don't think, mm-hmm. maybe Jeff. I love you, and you're not Lex Luthor, but <laughs> yeah. your shaved head like makes him. you. And and you know what? I've been, and I've been thinking about too is Mark Zuckerberg. He's he's a really cool guy. Yeah, you know, he's, he's just so, nothing so wrong with him. Cool. Mark yeah. Mark Zuckerberg, just great. He's a super Jeff hero. Bezos, awesome. Mm-hmm. awesome. Oh yeah. God, yes. I Absolutely. love that. Why, yeah. Amazon <laughs> wouldn't be experimenting <laughs> with drone technology. Yeah, man. Mm. I love how it's like very obvious we don't like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if Bezos has like a secret lab where he's doing crazy stuff. Dude, I mean that I is would. the story. Yeah. The guy who's doing global shipping, mm-hmm. drones, helping all these people, That's also secretly spying on American military bases. It was funny when I tweeted at Elon Musk, I was like, I was like, hey Elon, why haven't you built an Iron Man suit yet? And he mm-hmm. tweeted back, building Starship. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. all right, fair point. You yeah. know, it's like high point. Okay, yeah. well, you know, that, high that's point, actually yeah. an acceptable. So he's doing the shield thing. Is that isn't he's shield, building? He's building a ship to go to Mars. Didn't Shield have like a space in orbit? Nick Fury's no, then the shield? helicarriers. You're thinking oh. Justice League had the Batman thing oh, in space. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. so he's doing Justice League first. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. If you want to see the full show, come back to this channel, youtube.com slash Timcast IRL, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., where you can leave comments and super chat, and we actually will read your comments on the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you want exclusive members-only content segments you can't get anywhere else, go to TimCast.com, become a member, and we even have full bonus episodes. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.